uh, by a credo of responsibility. Like there's Chester no credo. tomorrow. Precisely. You guys see those frozen Doritos that are stuffed with cheese? What's up, DYC? Thank you for 47 months in a row! Somebody's gonna hit 50 soon, and I might freak out a little bit. 50 is a lot. Yeah. 20 is 20. Like, Judd Apatow has not made it. Yet, and that's how you know that that's a big number. I think there's like two people that I see regularly that have like 48. Um, so they're super close to 50. And yeah, nobody else is that close, I don't think. Nick, I need to ask behind. you a clarifying question, by the yeah, way. Sure. Aren't all burritos that are frozen stuffed with cheese? Oh, you misheard me. I said Doritos. Oh, Doritos. Yeah, I saw your tweet of those uh, stuffed Doritos, but those have been around for like two years now. First really? I I, yeah, I saw them at Walmart. They, I haven't I seen they them started before. started as like a 7-Eleven exclusive thing, and now they've branched out. But as I understand Show it, brand. it is basically just instant cheese that's melted, and then there's Dorito dust on top of it. They look pretty horrific. They have little jalapenos inside too. Like, all right, at you, least that's you got ate something inside of it. Let me put it this way: I've I've heard, you know, the Doritos Tacos Locos, yeah, almost ex salty. Well, almost exclusively, I've heard people be like, you know what? I'm not happy. I'm eating them, but they're not bad. Yeah, they weren't the loaded, bad. The loaded Doritos, I have almost, or the loaded, yeah, loaded Doritos. I've almost exclusively heard people be like. That sucks. Like, that's just not very good. <laughs> so... That should be their byline on the box. Loaded burritos. That sucks. Like, as far as I'm concerned, that's a food that exists to be purchased once and then forgotten. And yet it's been around for two years, you said. Well, apparently not everybody's had a taste yet. It's a loss leader. Can apparently. we please have everybody buy this so they can be taken off store <laughs> shelves? You can't just dust things with Dorito powder and make it they think it's good, like... And we're gonna have Dorito salad next, you know? What the fuck? Yeah. Well, I had like. Because I live on the West Coast, I had a kale salad yesterday. And when it came out, it had like weird Dorito dust on top of it. But I don't think it was mm. Dorito dust, I think it was. Like the end know, of a cheese bag? Well, it was like, you know, haute cuisine Dorito dust, which Whoa. by which I mean basically like they scraped the bottom of the tempura deep fryer or something and put that ah. on the it's a uh, culinary hot couture. Exactly. <laughs> hot hot couturati. <laughs> Love that guy. Kale salad? What a pussy. Because I had the mashed potatoes from Ikea earlier in the day chat. Oh. You know it lowers your tea count by 10 every time you eat it, by <laughs> the way. Mashed potatoes and, like, french fries in the same day. Ikea just opened up here, uh, like today, they renamed a road for it. It's called Ikea oh, they, Way. They did exactly the same thing here. There is an Ikea Way that leads to the Ikea. That is fucking crazy. Like, what is, what is their I problem? The first 43 people in line got a free couch today. <laughs> Why 43? <laughs> Why? Dude. Oh, man. That's, <laughs> they use, like, base six over there. So weird. It's like, just round us off, please. Slap out an extra two couches and make it 45. Or take I three away. I can't remember if it's, like, when it is, but there's a Wendy's in Vancouver that was closed for renovations and now has been reopened. And they're doing a special event. Maybe it's this Saturday. Opens at 8 a.m. The first 100 people in line get a free single cheeseburger combo. So... I don't know if you know this, like, it's kind of a well-kept secret, but if you look at, like, Canada's entire homeless population, like, 99% of them live in the greater Vancouver area. Exaggerating. I, I feel like that is going to be a police incident at 9 a.m. Saturday morning at the Wendy's. <laughs> you know, you got thousands of people queuing up to get a free cheese. Thousands? Like, yeah. It's human cruelty, man, to be like, well, we can only give a cheeseburger to a hundred of you. It's gonna be a fucking, like, they're gonna have to have security guards. People are gonna be throwing fisticuffs. You remember that viral video, right? It was the, the old guys trying to go up the backward side of the escalator so they could get to the McDonald's for a free hamburger. Yeah, don't they have free <laughs> tacos and stuff? Each other. They've done, like, free tacos before at Taco Bell. 
I'm, I, I swear to you, I'm not being anti homeless when I say this. I'm just saying I'm running the operations management in my head right now. And I'm thinking like, oh, this 16 year old that works at Wendy's is going to have one hell of a Saturday when like, you know, 10,000 people descend upon the restaurant wondering where their free <laughs> cheeseburger is at nine in the morning. Uh... It's probably like, a, you know, first come, first serve asterisk kind of thing at the bottom. Oh, I believe so. But at the He's same gonna time, it's going to cut like, them off at the, the, the hundred I'm... line. It's going to be like a pack situation where people are going to line up at like four in the morning to get this free hamburger. You could do it how Toys R Us did the Nintendos and have the sign-up sheet outside. Dude, what, but what if you just want to go and get a spicy chicken? Like, that's going to be staying away from Wendy's. Yeah, what about the guys that are there for just because they're hungry for the day? Better pick a different Wendy's. I'm telling you, all the Wendy's are going to be like that, aren't they? It's Wednesday, so I'm making a prediction. Like, if this comes true, you heard it here first and probably only. Maybe it'll go off without a hitch, you know? They probably thought about it, but... <laughs> if, Massive if, slaughter if, at local Wendy's over free hamburgers. I was just being like... 16 if, inches of blood. But <laughs> yeah, in, the gutters. in Canada, there's going to be severed limbs because all they're, they're rocking our katanas for weapons. If, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. There actually was uh, there was a police incident in Vancouver maybe like four years ago where a dude had like a, a scimitar. I bet he did! Wasn't there a beheading on a bus recently? Yeah, well, that was in like 2000... What? That was 2008. Oh, that's not that recent. But still, that was, yeah. it's a I mean, it was, it was pretty fucked up. Like, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... Sugarcoat like it? Serious, that was a serious incident in Canadian <laughs> crime history was when that dude got beheaded. Like, we, we didn't just gloss over that one. That was national yeah. news for like two years. I think you need a hundred years before a beheading is like normalized. Yeah, no, it was like a whole generation needs to pass. It was also because it happened on like the Greyhound bus, which, you know, when you get on a Greyhound bus, you're like, yeah, you know, people are going to be slamming cores cans and like, you know, generally being like disrupted pieces of shit. But I don't expect my head to get cut off in the kitchen. Either. So it was really like it betrayed the uh, it betrayed the underlying trust that I have in the Greyhound organization. No, they're gonna have hidden Greyhound police chilling on them like uh, they do bus for air marshals. marshals. Yeah, yeah, bus marshals. They'll, they'll just get the hound. They'll put the Greyhound on there. Oh, the Greyhound. They'll just put the Greyhound on there. Oh shit. That dude got released this year. God bless Canada, man. Eight years for cutting someone's head off on a bus? Shit, dude. Wow. He's had a real good reason. Coming up <laughs> That's pretty wild. I would figure you're pretty much done once you cut somebody's head off. It almost gets like two. Then you have, we have to talk about like, what do you think the purpose of? Uh... Well, I think I also I think that guy's in a mental facility now. But oh, um, so so fair enough. But you have to get into you know what's the what's the purpose of uh, of the penitentiary? Is it to rehabilitate or is it to punish or is it some combination of both? And then it's like. Twitch chat is gonna be like, you know, we stole a bag of baked lays. Cough, cough, yeah. Austin. You, know, you can't rehabilitate people in a prison. You're just training them to get used to a ske schedule that they become comfortable with, and then you ostracize them when they go back into society, so they just yeah. wanna go back to their normalized life in prison because that's what becomes normal to them. Well, more seriously, even, is the fact that you can't really get a job once you get out of prison. Yeah, exactly. So, like, that exactly. really fucks you over for the rest of your life, no matter what. Well, it's not that you can't get a job, but it's a lot more difficult. You gotta know somebody or On the job get lucky. For GameStop, there was a checkbox, like, right at the top that's like, check this box if you ever committed a felony. Didn't stop and, Mathis. Yeah, well, he didn't commit <laughs> it until he was already at GameStop. <laughs> What the hell does Mathis do? I don't. I don't, I don't even, even know. know. Like, I, I'm not trying to hold this information from you, but I don't even know if it should be talked about. Like, oh I well, it, what the hell? I know we'll it's been talk about it on the podcast. I like, know we did, but I was kind of like, you know, like, Mathis. Why was your lawyer? I'd be advising you not to discuss this. <laughs> yeah, like, I know. <laughs> I know it's already gone through the system and it's all like handled, but at the same time, like it reflects kind of badly. But you know, I can't stop him from sharing his story. I'm, I'm gonna, you know, you can watch the podcast if you want to know. I'm, this is like the only, this is what it takes for me to do this. I'm not gonna talk about it on this show, because I don't want to, I don't want to air Mathis's dirty laundry that he already aired. Yeah, I guess he should at least be here to defend himself if exactly. anybody's gonna talk about it, that's fair. Exactly. 
Which means okay. that I'll tell you during the ad break, Kobo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can watch the video. I just thought it was fair game since there was a, since it was already out on the internet. No, like. I mean, it probably is. Like, it's out there. I can't deny that. But at the same Even time, the did he talk about that here. With, on the Edmund one? The Edmund yeah, yeah. Yeah. round Episode table. Yeah, 69. You know, oh, wow. not, to, not to diminish round table, but round table has a, a smaller and different audience than this, this show does. So, you know, I, I don't want to I don't want to put him on blast on his weight class, but it does exist. I mean, people are already memeing about it on the subreddit, so it's like, it's out there. That was the day that I was raging about the release for Afterbirth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he announced yeah. it like two minutes before the, the show started. We I feel like they, they literally alive. did it because I told them my fiance's birthday was the third. Did you tell and them I, that? I told, yeah, I told Tyro, I was like, dude, I know your game is probably going to launch in January, and I'm real salty about it because my, my fiancé's birthday is on the 3rd, and AGDQ starts up on the 8th, and he it's was just like, like birthday present. didn't say shit. I, I mean, look, I would like to think that they would not do that to you. Well, uh, I mean, me... Uh, Tyrone yeah. is a master troll. Though. He is a little master troll. <laughs> I mean, he's just gonna ruin my relationship. No big deal. <laughs> Wait, your relationship with him or your relationship with Lisa? With Lisa, that's what I meant. Okay. <laughs> okay, I, I mean, she check. she understands. It just really sucks. Yeah, I mean, it is a suck. Because, no, yeah, no. normally it'd be like, yay, video game release, cool. You know, but for this, it's like, oh, I'm gonna, I'll see you in five days, sweetie. Yeah. Like... <laughs> I like will sleep, eat, and play Isaac. Uh, we still got nine minutes. Uh, yeah, I might kick this run into overgear. I'm kind of slow fucking it right now. I've been gone for a month. What did I miss? You missed a pretty eventful month in NLSS. That's true. Games. Cobalt and I were on CBS Sports. Did you see any of the... No, I was streaming. Oh, yeah. I, I was, went back I and looked for it later, and it was nowhere to be found on their website, so... I was I was really disappointed, man, because, like, I get why they did it, because it's a long event. You gotta cut it down. Yeah. They started the broadcast in the semifinals. So it was just, what? Like, my oh. existence was one no. record. Except because you made the finals, they showed, like, a montage of, like, how did Cobalt Street get here? And then Are you fucking kidding me? They're like, well, look at this nerd who got his ass kicked. There he is. Oh, my God. Well, Thanks, Razors. That. I was like, I mean, I, that, you never know with that commentator, what he's gonna fucking say. I, I love that one quote that was like, you look at this guy and you're like, you imagine he's probably got a lot of broken iPhones and tablets at home. They said it about me? <laughs> yeah, that was about you. I got no broken iPhones and tablets. Because you're so good at video games, they assume you break your tablet all the time. <laughs> assume that I, like, had emotional of rage. stunted growth or something. <laughs> like, I, I've never even thrown a controller in my life to the best of my memory. Uh, I don't think it was like a judgment of your character, it was just sort of saying you play a lot of video games in a way that is sort of out of touch with how people actually play video games. I and... figured out we were at the wrong casino the whole time, the day after you left, because we went... Oh, yeah. We went, like, a mile down the road off the strip, and it was so much better. Like, <laughs> everything oh, was 33% cheaper, I dick you not. Everything I was, was. gonna say, like, I, I thought I saw a tweet that you guys ended up at, like, the Excalibur or something. And that was, was later, like, later. $20 a night or something to stay there? It was $40 a night for the second uh, up, uh, upgraded room, but for the same price for one night at the Paris, I got a suite that had, like, a giant fucking bathtub where the, the bathroom was open to the... The, the the bedroom and then it had yeah, another like room negative, right do what is no, that like it, a negative well it had another room that you walked into with a door like it was two rooms one had a couch in it it had like two tvs like That's two crazy. bathrooms in it i was like what the fuck we can shit in different places sweetie <laughs> this is great <laughs> when I stayed at that cube hotel in new york city it was like almost one of those japanese style ones just super super tiny and it, it just had, like, the bathroom was right in the bedroom, essentially, with a little divider wall. And oh, uh, it was like, we were thinking this is going to be, like, real awkward eventually. Thankfully, it was, like, enough of a distance that it wasn't, but I was expecting it to be. 
Yeah. The first it was only like a hundred bucks for that room, by the way. Like that is crazy. So it was like a, was it like one twenty, I think, or something like that, for like a suite. I mean, the halls look like shit when you're walking down. You're like, I don't know, this is sketch. But you get into the room and you're like, all right, they're hiding some shit in here. They also have an arcade called the Fun Dungeon that you can okay, go play that, at in Excalibur. <laughs> Making that the name. It's the first time I came to Vancouver was before I lived here. I stayed in a hotel that didn't even have a bathroom in the rooms. What? They had like shared bathrooms. <laughs> Not even like a, you know, sometimes you'll stay in a hostel and, you know, it'd be like six people in a room, one bathroom. No, no, no. This was, you had your own room, but then it had like a shared bathroom down the hall that you have to go to. Like, oh, I really have to go That's poop. Oh, weird. sorry. Like, this person's been in the bathroom for three hours doing God knows what, so... Guess no pooping for me today. That's what you get for, you know, $130 a night. Oh my god. Can't yeah. you, like, knock? Okay, gotta poop. El Diablo! That's the response I was expecting. Yeah. Or just lock him in. Just put a chair up against the door and he'll never get out. Yeah, just fucking kill him. We were at the Excalibur, and we had been walking around looking for food, and I was like, where's that Johnny Rockets we walked past? And Lisa's like, there's not, I didn't see a Johnny Rockets. I think, like, you're losing your memory, like, your oh, memory's oh. going out or something. No and I was way. like, you saw I was like, Johnny Rockets. yeah, I was like, no, we saw one somewhere. We're on the food court level, and I go and ask the lady working at this, like, place, where, excuse me, where's the Johnny Rockets? Oh, I don't think there, we have one here. And I'm like, this bitch. She knows there's one here, and we go downstairs back to the other floor, and we're going back to our room, and there's the fucking Johnny Rock. So I'm like, you're trying to make me think I'm crazy. Like, you're going to make me neurotic over here. Like, I'm losing my mind when the Johnny Rockets is right here. That's a lot of work to go through. Just, you know, you could have just said, let's not eat at the Johnny Rockets. You didn't yeah. have to get caught in this Christopher Nolan-esque conspiracy that it didn't exist. <laughs> I mean, I, I am very forgetful sometimes, to be fair, but I saw a damn Johnny Rockets. I'm not that crazy. I didn't. I wasn't looking at a rug and saw it this time. Johnny Rockets is my favorite. It's pretty good. It's, it's like a diner chain, right? It's like, uh, yeah, but it's like themed like almost old school. Like, almost, it reminds me of like Fallout, but not post-apocalyptic. Okay. It's like a rockabilly like '50s diner. Is it yeah. like the diner from uh, from Pulp Fiction? Uh, yeah, the pretty, one that kind gets of, robbed, sort of. The one that they go to and they dance. Oh, yeah, there's two diners in that movie. I didn't even think mm -hmm. of that. Yeah. Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe yeah, and the uh, other guy. Was it Buddy Holly? I don't even know. Yeah, I love that movie, too. Red Rocket is my favorite. Look. That's from Fallout. That's gross. Oh, Red it's Rocket Spark. Rocket his face. Yeah, it's attached to your dog's pelvis. Speaking Should of which... <laughs> My cat got neutered yesterday. Oh yeah, I saw. Yeah, about and he does not give a flying fuck. He's he wow. thinks he's completely fine. He's jumping over fucking mountains, and he's got his little cat thing. He goes and climbs up on. I'm like, dude, you just got your balls taken off. Could you just chill out? I was worried he was gonna be depressed. Yeah. And like, you know, he doesn't care. Yeah, in shock, it might take him a few days to realize he's got no more balls. Well, he keeps cold. trying to lick them. So, does he have a cat cone? Yeah, what's the cone situation? He has no cone, but they said if wow. he does try to lick it, like, repeatedly, that we need to bring him back in for one. I caught him, like, a few times. I was gonna say, they know that you sleep, like, eight hours a day because you're a human being, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And... Like, you know, if, if I ever have to stop our cats from doing anything, I have to value how much I actually want that thing in my home. Because, I mean, I gotta sleep at some point. And I think you said there's no sutures or stitches or anything. It's just, like, free sacking. So I don't know how that works. Yeah, we had, we had the same thing. They were like, we're not gonna give stitches because, like, it, it heals better if it heals naturally. Hmm. And I was like, oh. like a tiny incision? I guess. I don't know. It, I mean, I didn't... I was trying not to get all up in his business yesterday and look at it, but I'm, I want to look at it just to be like, what's going on here? What did hey, they you do know exactly? What's going on your cat's balls? I supervised. Exactly. Our, I was the supervising nurse on our cat's uh, mastectomy. Neutering. Nice. Gelding? Wait. What's the phrase? 
I was not actually, but I did ask for video later. Did this you keep the balls? Yeah. I actually had them inserted into my own scrotum. Frickin' oh, oh for consumption by your scrotum. You got the quad set up. Got yeah, well I mean it's really it's more like two point four. Like they're pretty small. Oh yeah, right? cat balls a little. I understand this. Any anything helps, you know. Please. <laughs> it's in you to give. Anything helps, you know? <laughs> yeah, high D indeed. I think they wired him up wrong though. But you're not getting extra cat sperm out of it? Well, I don't know. I think it's like... You know what? The, the, oh. the finish of that joke was gonna be when I come it smells like cat food. But I, I just couldn't bring myself to pull the trigger on the punchline. <laughs> We went to a really expensive uh, sushi place in Las Vegas, and we ate cod sperm. Ooh, and we did yum. not know until a week later what, what what we had eaten. And my manager How then told was me. It, was it was it delicious, delicious at the time, but now I am disgusted by it. When I think of, like, the slimy texture of it. <laughs> but it was, I mean, it was tasty. That's What's how you do it like, like again? I think I've seen that before. It's It looks like... They're really big, and they look almost like testicles of something without the veins. Um, I have a picture I can show you later. They sent me a picture of it. I tweeted it out, too. At the time, I was like, oh, look, I'm eating delicious sushi, guys. Little <laughs> did I know, the middle one is fucking cod sperm. No one warned me. Cocky sushi. So you know it's an actually like expensive Japanese restaurant. If you go to like an expensive steakhouse, they're like, oh, the beef has been aged in our in-house dry aging chamber and yeah. you know, fresh smoked by our smoke master. When you go up like four dollar signs in a Japanese restaurant, they're like, we cut the balls off of this thing and then, you know, <laughs> fill them with the sperm that was already in the balls and then lightly sear them and gave them to you. Pretty much. This is what the Shogun <laughs> ate in, <laughs> in Sengoku period Japan. Yeah. Like, I, I think my ideal Japanese restaurant peaks at about, you know, Thirty dollars per person. They showed us the cow nose print at that place for the wagyu. Yeah, for the wagyu beef that they gave us. They gave us the cow nose print and the lineage and all that stuff. Yeah. I was like, they didn't do this at Gordon Ramsay Steakhouse. Maybe it wasn't real there. It was also ten dollars cheaper an ounce at that place. At the Japanese place. Yeah, I was like, Gordon, please. Well, yeah, I was gonna say, you know, you should pay for that Ramsay name or something. Dead. True. And then when you come in, the lady goes, you know, well, you see, you started in the Paris, but now you pass through our channel and you're in London. And you're oh, in London. That's clever. I Very get it. clever. Because it's located in the Paris Casino and Resort in sunny Las Vegas, Nevada. Mm-hmm. Which you saw advertisements <laughs> for if you watch Champions of Fire. Why can't he just smile in any of his pictures? He's always got his serious face and his arms crossed. Yeah. Just give us a smile, Ramsey. I've seen it. It doesn't look bad. I can't help but stare at your hair plugs now. He's very serious and passionate about cooking. He doesn't want to let on that it's like a joke to him. Does he have, uh... Does he have hair plugs? I heard he's got hair plugs. Mad hair Gordon plugs. Ramsey Hair 2016. That's what my lady tells me. Ooh, and that he's had a mistress before. Well, you know. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. But when Love. you search when you search Gordon Ramsay hair 2016, there's a great picture that's just Gordon Ramsay and then next to it is a picture of a baby's eyes. And I don't really understand. What? That. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. The way I've described it is what, what? it says. A little creepy. No, you rule glass jaw. I love when my Gordon chat gives Ramsay. me inspirational moments. There you go. Gordon Ramsay sparks new hair transplant rumors. Boom! Oh, Sparked. rumor. Gordon Ramsay shows new slick back hair. New slick back. It's always pointed in one direction and it's so unnaturally bouncy. There's no way. Oh, hey, Robin. That's <laughs> good. Gordon Ramsay sparks new hair transplant rumors. Wait, Gordon Ramsay has a hair transplant? That's what I hear. Rumors, anyway. Th that's on the, the DL. Rumors, man. That's oh. the rumors. Oh! Hey, Chad, did you hear that rumor that Gordon Ramsay is a new hair transplant? This is an NLSSP edition. Continues the dramatic transformation. I don't know if I'd go that far. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> 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 
Gordon Ramsay. Good jeans or good doctors? Oh, con the controversy continues. That'd be really weird if like, a celebrity had plastic surgery. I would not believe it. Huge if real. <laughs> All right, well, how are you guys doing on your uh, Isaac runs? I'm on the chest. Like, working on the second one, but it's going to be a little bit so I can stop. All right. Let's I got that. a sun and card. Play uh, Yang Beast and come back to the break. Okay. I got you early. I'm sorry. It's okay. Stay, stay a while and listen. <laughs> stay a while and listen. Stay a while and listen. Awesome looking Isaac. I, I came right on time. No, you came too early. It's like the god. Hey, how do you run ads on the new Twitch dad? Uh, you revert to the old one. <laughs> and the oh, can you? The old one? Yeah, I really yeah. want to do that, actually. It's in the top left corner. So if you try to pop your chat out from the new dashboard, it puts you in an undefined chat that's its own entity. So I'm kind of just, like, <laughs> chilling in there right now and talking to people as they come in. I'm like, booga booga. <laughs> like, there you go. Initiating commercial break. Oh. But wait, like, none of you guys had an actual answer? You, like, I, I had to type commercials. No, mine was an actual answer. I actually referred to the old one. Yeah, yeah but I'm like, you know. Hey, I'm all time. about trying new things, but, like, the new dashboard, like, kind of sucks. The new info is pretty cool. I haven't really checked it out, but it's good that there is that. I don't want to be the guy who's, like, you know... You know, it's 2016, and I'm like, I just use Internet Explorer because that's always been <laughs> what I've used. I don't actually like the old dashboard better. I yeah, um, I feel like if they made it, like Internet Explorer. If, if they gave you the option to pop out each of the individual scrolling sections, like you have your pop out for chat, I would like it. And I can position them how I want oh, it on my screen. Yeah. But I don't like how it's all clustered, clustered on the one page. And it then also split. Does, doesn't. Why do I want to just? How do you get away with not using a dashboard? Why do yeah. I use a dashboard? Change your title and title a lot for that. See your viewership. 